in Russia, the name of Mozart does not need to be introduced as well as in the whole world. He has a very important place and uh, can be regularly heard in all concert halls. Hi everybody, my name is Roman Borisov, I'm from Novosibirsk and now study and live in uh, Berlin. I play the piano and uh, here I have even two of them. Uh, but this unfortunately is not my place. <laughs> what makes it special for me, I think at least the fact that I've been playing since I was three years old. So in fact I grew up with this instrument and I feel comfortable when uh, I know that there is one in vicinity. Otherwise I have kind of feeling that something is missing. My first fully conscious experience was uh, when I was asked to perform a major concerto, uh, K488, at the age of 14. And it was a completely new experience for me. I found and find his music so transparent and filled and uh, like simple and complex obvious and unpredictable and I, I can continue to call oxymorons uh, but it's worth now stopping it. <laughs> my face uh, when I listen to music is a reason for jokes from my friends because uh, when I listen to music I look like I'm judging the music and uh, the performance interpretations as uh, harshly as possible uh, but in fact I'm just focused and I'm not so strict as I as I look and basically it's something like something like that. Music for piano is a big part of what Mozart wrote and is a proof you can just look at amount the piece amount of work for piano. And we recorded two piano concertos K413 and 450. Not the most famous and uh, but I think very underestimate uh, because uh, they're very beautiful and especially for 15 I think is very unique concerto because of uh, third movement with two adagio parts inside the third movement which is uh, usually fast and fun etc so it's very, uh, very unusual and unique concerto. During the recording, uh, I found out that Mozart's early concertos take a lot of energy. I got a lot out of it. Мы новое поколение Моцарта.